Reuters Walt Disney Co. has struck a deal to buy film, television and international businesses from Rupert Murdoch's 21st Century Fox Inc. for $52.4 billion in stock, giving the world's largest entertainment company an arsenal of shows and s to combat growing digital rivals Netflix Inc. and Amazon.com Inc. The deal brings to a close more than half a century of expansion by Murdoch, 86, who turned a single Australian newspaper he inherited from his father at the age of 21 into one of the world's most important global news and film conglomerates. The new, slimmed-down Fox will focus on TV news and sport. Early indications are that the deal will not face strong resistance from antitrust regulators as at Corp's bid to acquire Time Warner Inc. has done. U.S. President Donald Trump spoke to Murdoch on Thursday and congratulated him on the deal, according to the White House. Shares of Fox, which have surged more than 30 percent since talk of the deal surfaced in early November, climbed more than 5 percent. Disney shares rose more than 3 percent after the company said it expects to buy up to $20 billion of its own shares to offset dilution from the all-stock deal. Disney will also assume about $13.7 billion of Fox debt in the deal. Fox stockholders will receive 0.2745 Disney shares for each share held and will end up owning about a quarter of Disney. Under the deal, expected to close in 12 to 18 months, Disney acquires 21st Century Fox's film and television studios, its cable entertainment networks and international TV businesses. That brings marquee franchises like Avatar and The Simpsons inside the Mouse House on top of Iger's previous purchases, including Pixar Animation Studios, Marvel Entertainment and Star Wars producer Lucasfilm. The deal also includes 22 of Fox's regional sports networks that have the rights to televise live games of U.S. professional baseball, basketball and hockey teams as well as popular college and high school games. Disney's global footprint expands with the acquisition of Fox's international satellite assets, including Star TV Network in India and a stake in European PAY TV provider Sky PLC and sports rights in several countries. The new pipeline of shows and s will help Disney battle technology companies spending billions of dollars on programming shown that is siphoning audiences away from traditional TV networks. The deal illustrates the huge strategic challenge traditional media companies face and how they need to reinvent their business models to compete with digital competitors such as Netflix, Google and Amazon, said Nick Jones, partner and head of technology at Cavendish Corporate Finance. It helps Disney dramatically reduce its reliance on traditional television, a business that has declined over the last two decades. New Fox immediately before the acquisition, Fox will separate the Fox Broadcasting Network and stations, Fox News Channel, Fox Business Network, its sports channels FS1, FS2 and the Big Ten Network, into a newly listed company that it will spin off to its shareholders. Traders work at the post where Walt Disney Co. stock is traded on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange NYSE in New York, U.S., December 14, 2017. Reuters' Brendan McDermott, this will be a growth company, centered on live news and sports brands and the strength of the Fox Network, 21st Century Fox Executive Chairman Murdoch told investors. He said Fox was not retreating, rather, pivoting at a pivotal moment. Disney Chief Executive Bob Iger, 66, will extend his tenure through the end of 2021 to oversee the integration of the Fox businesses. He has already postponed his retirement from Disney three times, saying in March he was committed to leaving the company in July 2019. If Iger sees out his new term, that would rule out a presidential bid in 2020, which had been the subject of some speculation. This acquisition reflects a changing media landscape, increasingly defined by transforming technology and evolving consumer expectations. Iger told investors on a conference call, he said new technology would be necessary to meet the demands of viewers who want to access content anytime. Fox's regional sports networks and cable network puts Disney in a better position to sell more shows directly to more consumers, he added. Disney has been struggling to bolster its TV business as cancellation of cable subscriptions is pressuring its biggest network, sports channel ESPN. The company plans to launch its own Inc. service in 2019, a calculated gamble that it can generate more profit in the long run from its own subscription service rather than renting out S to services like Netflix. It is not clear who will head the new Fox. Iger said current Fox CEO James Murdoch, Rupert's younger son, will help with the transition and that the two will discuss whether he will have a longer-term role at Disney. Sky's future through Fox's stake in the Hulu video wing service, Disney will assume majority control of one of Netflix's main competitors. Hulu is also partially owned by Comcast Corp and Time Warner Inc.
a majority of antitrust experts contacted by Reuters said the deal would likely win approval from U.S. antitrust authorities, although the U.S. Department of Justice may require asset sales or conditions, they said. Fox said it remained committed to buying the 61% of Sky it does not already own and expects to win regulatory approval from Britain and to close the deal by the end of June, 2018. Britain's takeover panel said Disney had informed the Watcog that should it only buy 39% of the company if Murdoch fails to buy the rest of Sky it did not think it should be forced to make a bid for the company. Statement prompted Sky's stock to fall by 1%. In Britain, any investor acquiring 30% of a listed company is automatically forced to make a bid for the rest of the stock. Takeover panel said it would seek the opinions of Sky's independent directors before making a decision. Additional reporting by Susan Heavey in Washington, Lisa Richwine in Los Angeles, Diane Bartz in Washington and Kate Holton in London Editing by Patrick Graham and Bill Rigby or Standards The Thomson Reuters Trust Principles